Hi, this is Dr. Moore, and today I'm going to perform an awesome bunionectomy, but this is more of the cosmetic bunion surgery that we perform. And if you come up here close, you can see that this uh, patient is younger, um, just more of a genetic, moderate bunion deformity. We'll do uh, more of the, less of the traditional long incision. We'll do a small incision here, also stitch it underneath the skin. But uniquely what we do is as we move this head over to correct the bunion deformity, it is a V osteotomy, uh, basically a bone fracture. And we're gonna fixate the fracture with bone pins. They're natural bone pins made out of cortical bone called Tinfuse from Wright Medical Group. And they will fixate the fracture instead of using a metallic screw or staple. Okay, now that we have the incision made, the V osteotomy or Chevron osteotomy is here on the side of the head. And what's beautiful about this procedure is you, you can literally move the head over. You can see I just moved her bunion deformity, the entire head, over about three millimeters. And then in a little while, we'll go ahead and fixate the osteotomy or make sure this doesn't move around with those naturally occurring absorbable cortical bone pins called the Tenfuse. Okay, here's the allograft or tinfused bone pen that I'm going to use to fixate the uh, Austin bunionectomy. Comes in a vial full of saline and one pen. You can see them here, ready to go for the surgery. If you look very, very closely, you'll see that the end here is very, very skinny. That's where you enter. The ridges keep it in, and then it fattens up the tip here. And this is what will tamp in and will, will be flush with the bone. Okay, now we're ready to drill the portals. Uh, to receive the bone pin. So actually I'll drill straight up and down to do the first one just to get it started. Once we get it going I angle it down and the first pin, this is the medial pin, exit the plantar cortex. I do a little pistoning just so it won't get hung up. Okay we have both the portals drilled. There's one over here and there's one over here. And I start the pin like this with the hemostat. And once I get it going and press down into the portal, it'll hang up on this fin. So usually, especially when it's got a tight fit, I, I follow up with the tamp. Until it's flush to the bone. And like, he's, like I said, it's, it's non-metallic. We'll remove this wire after I put the other one in, and it's flush with the bone. It'll be absorbed into the bone, and that's it. After we clean this up, remove this edge, and smooth this out and close her, uh, again, she will be uh, straighter. The osteotomy will be healing with the natural product, and uh, no hardware will be in there or have to be removed later. Okay, here we are done. The patient is sutured up. The pins are in. Uh, we did a subcuticular stitch. We'll put some stereo strips across the top. As you can see, it turned out wonderful. Nice curvature, enough to get back in shoes. Not too straight, not too far over. And again, the tin fuse uh, bone pins inside will absorb over a six to eight week period. And then she'll be fully weight bearing by that time.